In one of my previous episodes, I said I was going to do a short tutorial on Atlas track planning software. So here we go with that. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And one of the first steps in doing that is track planning. And Atlas is one of the uh, softwares, it's probably one of the easiest softwares to use. It's based on another software, SCARM. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But basically it's the same. It's just a cut down version of it. The SCARM uh, software looks identical to it, but it just has a little bit more options to it. And so I'm going to talk about it on this episode right here. I'm going to give you a little short tutorial on it right here. So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave some comments down here and give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Share the video. Tell your friends about it. I'm going to do a quick review of the Atlas software. It's identical to the SCARM software. In fact, it's a, it's a, exactly the same as it. It just has a, a few less uh, options on it. There's less uh, uh, track libraries. This one only uh, has the Atlas libraries. And these objects here, I'm pretty sure that I downloaded these. I remember downloading uh, symbols and signals the other day. I don't think this actually comes with the Atlas software. This is something you could uh, download from SCARM. Okay, figures. I don't know if I got figures here. Okay, these are just the uh, uh, just shapes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over here to Atlas HO Code 100. And it gives you all the tracks that are available in Code 100 in Atlas. So as far as the menus go, uh, basically uh, everything's the same. Um, I'll just go through uh, settings and uh, you could use most of the default settings. I think I saved or I, I uh, changed a few other ones. Like this one is normally 15 minutes. I brought this save auto recovery file to every five minutes. And uh, dimensions, I uh, have an inches, gradients in percentage. Uh, I do radius and angle for the curves. Uh, parts list, all of these. And uh, portable, if you want to save to a USB device, you could click on here and save it to a USB device. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the toolbox. And do baseboard rectangular. Now, this is uh, going to be your layout, and I'm just going to do a 4x8 uh, layout right here. So I'm going to do 96 by 48, and then I'll bring it up there. And I'll just reduce it down just a little bit so you can see the whole thing on the screen. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, a straight track. I'm going to use a, um, a terminal track. So it puts it right there because I didn't have a, a starting point. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to click on it and then right click on it to click move. And I'm going to move it down to about right here. And then I'm going to put a curve up through here. So I'm going to use an 18 inch radius curve and bring it over here. And it's and it's brought it the other way. So I'm going to put it over on that side. So what I'm going to do is see this little thing right here. It's going to continue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on here, select section, and then I'm going to move. 
so I'll be able to move this whole section right here and so I'll put it right here and I'll click all right now I'm gonna put a straight piece I'm gonna select right here is the starting point where I want to put it and a nine inch straight piece boom now another 18 inch radius curve boom and then boom boom okay right here I'm gonna put a re-railer and I'm going to put a let me see a left hand turnout I'm going to use a number four left hand turnout and use you could use a starting point of the the radius the or either end of it and I'm going to use choose this one right here all right I'm going to click on this one because we'll continue around the the uh, circle I'll keep on going and let me see one more and then I'll do the 18 inch radius and boom and then click two more okay then I'll do a straight track and then another 18 inch radius going this way boom and then two more oops what did I do different over here did I put a short one in there okay where did I do let me undo these boom 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 I must have put a six inch radius in there okay nine or a nine inch straight track now let me go down here and see how easy it is to make a mistake but it can be rectified okay there we go so we'll go back to the nine inch tracks and bring it all the way back all right so now we have an oval and we have a turnout right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a piece of flex track I'm going to use that as the starting point and click on the flex track and see you got it right there so you could go all over the place with the flex track I guess that's the, the minimum radius you could do on it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select say like right here as the radius and bring it over to right there and then bring it straight on up all right now I'm gonna put a little nine inch track right there and a bumper and there we go now we have an oval with one siding on it with a bumper so we're gonna save this right there in progress all right siding on top so we'll save it that's it for now I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and I hope at least one person learned something from this uh, short tutorial on the Atlas software. And if you haven't done so already and you would like to continue watching some of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, give me a thumbs down, share the video, uh, put some comments down here, let me know what you think about it. And um, we'll see you the next time. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. And I'm going to go right now. Boop, 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 boop. And i got to wait for the 20 seconds.